In the name of Allah. The Moth and the Divine Flame, A Journey of Surrender In a world that's invisible to human eyes, there existed a realm of tiny creatures. Among them a moth named Nor lived and she was unique in her kind. Unlike her kin, who were attracted to the transient and deceptive lights of the world, Nor was captivated by a divine flame that flickered in the distance, its ethereal glow reaching the depths of her soul. Every night, under the vast canopy of the starlit sky, Nor would sit at the edge of her dwelling, with her tiny eyes fixed on the divine flame. Its radiant light filled her with an indescribable sense of peace and longing. The flame, with its mesmerizing dance, whispered tales of love and surrender, and Nor yearned to become one with it, to surrender herself completely to its illuminating embrace. One fateful night, under the watchful eyes of the moon, Nor decided to embark on a journey towards the divine flame. She was aware that the path was fraught with danger, that the heat of the flame could consume her fragile body. But her desire to surrender to the divine flame, to lose herself in its radiant light, was stronger than any fear. As Nor ventured closer to the flame, she felt its heat intensifying. Under the blanket of darkness, Nor stood before the divine flame, her heart racing with anticipation and fear. The flame danced before her, its flickering light casting shadows on the surrounding rocks. She knew that this was her moment, her chance to surrender to the divine light and experience true unity. She took a deep breath, feeling the cool night air filling her lungs, and took her first step towards the flame. As she drew closer, she felt the heat intensifying, wrapping around her like a warm embrace. It was both exhilarating and terrifying, a feeling she had never experienced before. Despite the fear, Nor continued to walk towards the flame, her eyes fixed on its radiant light. She knew that the dangers were real, that the heat could consume her fragile body, but her desire to surrender to the divine flame was stronger than any fear. With each step, the heat grew more intense, a reminder of the transformative power of the flame. Nor's faith in the divine was unwavering, her resolve unshaken. She understood that this was not a destructive heat, but a transformative one, an opportunity to shed her old self and become something new. As she neared the flame, Nor could feel her heart pounding in her chest, her body trembling with anticipation. But she did not see the flame as a destroyer, but as a symbol of divine love and surrender. She saw in its fiery dance a reflection of her own journey, her own yearning for surrender and unity. In the final moments of her journey, as Nor hovered on the brink of the flame, she did not see it as a destroyer, but as a symbol of divine love and surrender. And then, in a moment of complete surrender, Nor plunged into the flame. The heat was intense, overwhelming, consuming her physical form but her spirit, her essence, became one with the divine flame. She had surrendered herself completely, her individuality now lost in the radiant light of the divine. In that moment of complete surrender, Nor found the peace she had been seeking all her life. She had become the flame, her light now a part of the divine light. And though her physical form was no more, her spirit, now one with the divine flame, continued to flicker in the darkness, a beacon of love, surrender, and unity. It was a heat unlike any she had ever experienced, a heat that threatened to consume her. But instead of retreating, she surrendered herself even more. Her faith in the divine flame was unwavering, her resolve unshaken. She understood that this was not a destructive heat, but a transformative one. The End Thanks for the reading.